The test bench is getting an upgrade. This is serious. The Kingston Fury Renegade Gen 5 SSD. 14,700 megabytes per second speeds. Let me show you how to do a disk clone using Kingston software. So basically, I'm going to move all the information from my current C drive, my primary NVMe drive, to this one. And then I'm going to be able to boot to this. Very exciting. Kingston Fury Renegade Gen 5 SSD. Now we're going to actually put this in the Gen 5 slot with the big cooler here because the drive that I have in here right now is only Gen 4. This gets much hotter, therefore we want the big cooler. All right, we got the old drive there, we got the new drive in this slot, and we have to kind of put this back on real quick. All right, now we can slide this on. Normally it's pretty easy. There we go. And place it back down here. And let's begin the disk clone. Acronis is the Kingston tool for disk clone software, and it does a bit more as well. So you can just go to their website and download it for free. This is what it looks like. We're gonna go to the tool section here and click on clone disk. And it's gonna do an automatic, like choose clone mode. And next, we actually have our main drive right here. We're gonna click next. And then after scanning, it sees the new disk the two terabyte Kingston Fury Renegade PCI Gen 5.0 drive, very exciting times. Select the required cloning method to replace a disc on this machine, clone with bootable OS. That's what we wanna do. So it shows a before and after. So right now the disc is blank obviously and after it'll have some storage on there. Locking partition. So we're just gonna let this go and uh, see how long this takes. Okay, I got up to um, pour a cup of coffee and it finished. I just hit my tooth. And we can take out the old NVMe drive now. This is a four terabyte drive by Kingston Fury, so I'm definitely gonna be using this in another build. Holy bejeebas. Look at that read speed. Okay, that's straight up bonkers. Go ahead and download Crystal Disk Mark and run it on your systems. Let me know what your read and write speeds are. So for those that don't know what this score means, basically I had to put three of these drives together in RAID 0, this is PCI Gen 4.0, just to get the performance of just one PCI Gen 5.0 drive. Now who can actually utilize this type of speeds? Well, it depends on your workflow. Gaming, not so much. You might get one, two, or three seconds faster loading time in certain games, like Star Citizen, for example. Yes, this will load a little bit faster, but then you're server bound, right? But when it comes to AI applications development, this makes a humongous difference compared to PCI Gen 4.0 in certain types of LLMs. So stay tuned for those because I have plans for some LLM development. I can't get LLM, LLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLL